Uh, today I ask my colleagues for their support uh, in the adoption of a resolution to declare September 27, 2018 as Polycythemia Vera Action Day in the state of Michigan. Polycythemia vera is a specific type of myeloproliferative neoplasm, also known as an MPN, uh, which is a rare blood cancer that affects more men and women and individuals over the age of 60. More than 100,000 Americans live daily with polycythemia vera. And the cause of polycythemia vera is due to a mutation in a gene that creates a problem with an abundance of blood cell production. Polycythemia vera symptoms occur because of abnormalities affecting the formation of blood cells, which result in the overproduction of red blood cells, and to a lesser extent, the overproduction of white blood cells and platelets. Polycythemia vera is not genetic, contagious, or directly inherited. However, studies have shown that there are genetic factors that indicate certain individuals are susceptible to this condition. And there is no known cure for polycythemia vera, Mr. Speaker. And along with other NPMs or blood cancers, it is known as an uh, invisible disease. And so I thought it was appropriate to uh, introduce this resolution as, is, as it is Blood Cancer Awareness Month uh, here uh, around the country. But you see, Mr. Speaker, the introduction of today's resolution actually holds a significant personal meaning to me. As many others in this chamber in this country, I was not aware of polycythemia vera until this very year, where I met this beautiful young woman who I fell in love with, proposed to, and eventually became engaged to. And this is when I learned so much about polycythemia vera and other NPNs. So when Taja, my fiance, first shared her story with me, it was unbelievable. A young woman in her prime who graduated from college at the beginning of her journey to become a nurse practitioner, and one day she finds out that she's diagnosed with this rare condition. She is currently one of the youngest individuals in this country who has been diagnosed. So as many of my colleagues in this chamber have had the opportunity to meet Taja, upon meeting her and upon you know, meeting Taja, she looks perfectly fine. She's beautiful, vibrant, smiles all the time, and you would never know the constant pain that she experiences every day and her daily battles. But I attribute this to her strength, her courage, her perseverance. As with other conditions that one may see the effects of, PV and other NPMs are not visible. This is why this disease and other blood cancers are known as invisible diseases. I can tell you firsthand that the pain she experiences daily is constant and almost never stops. And as a 27-year-old woman, she pushes daily through it every day and does not let it defeat her. The treatment regimen is something that is vital and necessary as well, uh, but it is ultimately draining. I don't mention this to gain sympathy for Taja because if you know her very well, she is the epitome of optimism as well as positivity. She takes something that can be so devastating and creates something that is elevating as she is now uh, established her own advocacy group, advocacy group, which is named Invisible to the Eye, whose goal is to bring more awareness to the world and ultimately find a cure for polycythemia vera uh, and make that which is invisible, visible. And because of her courage, needless to say, Mr. Speaker, she is my hero. So today, Mr. Speaker, the goals of Polycythemia Vera State Action Day is to invite people to join the movement and to find improved treatment and a cure for polycythemia vera to spread awareness about polycythemia uh, vera and other blood cancers, and also to acknowledge those who have dedicated their time and talent to help promote polycythemia vera research and programs, and honor those like Taja who display the courage to live with this very disease every single day. So Mr. Speaker, I will ask my colleagues to support this resolution and it is also available on an electronic board for co-sponsorship. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Representative Durhall. A question for the House is the adoption of the resolution. All those in favor will say aye. Those opposed will say nay. The resolution is adopted. <laughs>